uh, due respect is always due to uh, the deceased brethren of the past, the prophets of olden time and the apostles. Uh, we thank God always for our leader, Pastor Jennings. We honor him and all the ministering brethren everywhere. To the saints of God that are here and those that are watching, uh, we thank God for you and certainly to our listeners. Uh, we want you and our viewers to stay tuned always to this, the Worldwide Truth of God radio and television program. Uh, for those who have been watching for some time, you know it's coming from our international headquarters uh, located at 5105 North 5th Street. That's North 5th Street and Lindley Avenue in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, right here in the United States of America, where Pastor Gino Jennings is our leader, teacher, guide, and he's our general overseer. Uh, we'd just like to remind you, as always, uh, that the purpose of this program is to bring you the truth from the scriptures of truth. Uh, that you may obey them if you so desire, uh, that you may be saved and may well prepare for the life to come. For those who have been watching for some time, you will notice that this program is unscripted and commercial free. It is driven and directed solely by the movement of the Holy Ghost. Uh, we want you to stay tuned, uh, not just to today's program, but to all programs of the future, and if you so desire, go back and view programs of the past. The truth is unchanging, is that right? right. And that we're so grateful to have it in our, in our day. Uh, here now, at this time, we're going to present onto our leader, teacher, guide, messenger, and chief spokesman among us, the Apostle Pastor Gino Jennings. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Greetings, brothers and sisters. Once again, we bear witness there's only one true living God. That's right. He have no partners, he have no rivals. We thank him for being the true sender and the only teacher of holy prophets and of holy apostles. The way of holiness is the greatest and the most perfect way that man can ever follow to get right with God. We are blessed today that God have opened up our understanding, not blind, not deaf, not dumb to his will, but he opened up our understanding so we can understand the scriptures. That's one of the greatest days of your life, you know. Well, you're not ignorant. You know, ignorance is a terrible thing. I believe the Apostle Paul, when he was preaching, writing a letter to Titus, he reflected back and said, we ourselves also were sometimes foolish and disobedient, deceived, serving divers, lusts and pleasures, living in malice and envy, hateful and hating one another. But after the love of God toward men appeared, not by works of righteousness that we have done, but by his mercy, he saved us. By the watching of regeneration and renewing of the Holy Ghost. So uh, this is why we're here moreover. To you that are watching, to open up your eyes and get you out of that deep sleep that the devil have put so many millions in. Oh, yeah. And the devil have hired men to help put you to sleep. Right. And they doing a good job of putting you to sleep oh, too. Yeah. We're that unwanted alarm clock. You know when you're in a good sleep and you know you have to get up and go to work. You set the clock and it rang and you still don't want to hear it. You be hitting that thing with your eyes closed and can't find it and it just keep ringing. That's where many of you viewers are that hate this irritating message. I know it get under your skin and burn your hide. But uh, this is one alarm clock you better wake up to. Because a day coming that you will never sleep again. The flames of hell will keep you woke forever and ever. 
You will be tired. You will be exhausted. You will be hungry. And you will be tormented day and night without ceasing. You can't get a sandwich. You can't even get a drop of water to cool your tongue. Your Lord, your creator, going to take this stuff that you have now, your flesh, and he going to give you an everlasting body that will never burn up. And his divine wisdom is going to fix the body that it going to have all the feelings that it have now. Every feeling you have now, everything. You ever went a whole day without eating and know how you felt? Imagine going a million years and your torture just getting started. Imagine going a billion years without a drop of water and you're just getting started. You will remember your reason for burning, falling, and hollering. And your reason will be summed up with one word disobedience amen you'd rather get rich and pursue careers than obey God but my job as a messenger of God is to teach you how to prepare your life to meet God that's what you're living for in fact that's what you're supposed to be living for to prepare your life careers is good job is good and Making money is good as long as you make it right. Getting married is good for some folk. Amen. But uh, whatever you accomplish out there, that's all right. But remember, everything in this life is temporary. All of your success, all of your accomplishments, all of your relationships, Money that you have, cars that you drive, property that you own, businesses that you're starting, got in mind starting, wife that you have, husband, children. You're going to lose all that. God is going to take your husband away from you. Get me. He's doing it now. He's going to take your wife away from you, your children. Amen. Your sister, your brother. He's going to take them away from you. One by one, they're going to clock out. They're going to punch out of time and be pushed into eternity. While you live, viewers, and you that are here, take advantage of the message of holiness. Take advantage of it. God put it here just for you. Do you know that? That's right. This message is not for the angels in heaven. No. They don't have to repent. No. <laughs> no. The angels in heaven don't have to repent, don't have to be baptized, don't even have to wait for the Holy Ghost. Right. Why, they were created holy of the day God made them. Oh, yeah. But God fixed it so, want to make sure man get right so he... Gave you a chance to get back up after you fell in the Garden of Eden. Adam fell and chaos hit creation. Sin made an introduction into the world. Until every child that's conceived is born in lust. Fashion in iniquity. Arrived here in darkness. And inherited a disobedient nature. That's right. He got that nature from birth. That's right. So God come along and framed the method to get man out of his sinful bondage. That's right. So what did he do? God came himself. Yeah. He said he would. The Bible said, your God will come. God will come. Somebody said, well, how is it your God will come if he already was here? Well, he already was here in the spirit. That's right. 
But he never made a body and sent it out to redeem nobody in flesh. Your God will come with vengeance. Do you hear this? In Isaiah chapter 35 and at verse 4. Your God will G -O -D. come. G-O-D. Your G-O-D will come. Will come. With vengeance. And he gonna pay you back. Even God with a recompense. Even God with a recompense. He will come. He, not they, glory to God. He will come. He will come and, and do what? And save you. Ah, and we only <laughs> got it. one savior. That's right. Hallelujah. You better take advantage Hallelujah. of this. Take God viewers. Hallelujah. God came. Who was he? Jesus was he. Hallelujah. He was Emmanuel being interpreted. Hallelujah. God. God with us. With us. Hallelujah. Amen. Mary wasn't God's mother. Mary was the mother of the flesh that God came in. That's it. God was with us. That's it. In the flesh. In the flesh. God was with us yeah. in the mediator. That's right. God was with us in the offering. That's right. Offered up that body, that man, that son once for all. <laughs> through the eternal spirit so your hard head can connect with him. That's it. And out of all that, you still don't want it. That's right. Well, when the Lord come the second time. Uh -uh, don't do that to me now. <laughs> hey man, what happened? My power is gone. It's gone. Don't do that. Yeah. Take me back to the place. Oh, yes. <laughs> Amen. I was. Come on. Amen. Williams is all right, but uh, the devil don't want me to talk about God. No. Well, I'm going to keep talking about him anyway until you tell me back, back up. That's right. Amen. Now, there you go. Amen. <laughs> Glory to God. That's right. You know, this is a good thing. Now, I want to update the church. God gave us victory again. Again he did, you know. That's right. And man, we had a beautiful dedication service in Mobile, Alabama. I believe 47 went down in the name of Jesus Christ. We had several backsliders come back to God. And uh, we went to Milwaukee last week. Uh, 26 was baptized in the name of Jesus Christ in Milwaukee. Last week, God gave me a double victory, you know. Amen. We gave the people in off in Monroe, Louisiana for a new church. They accepted. We'll be closing on Monroe, Louisiana. Amen. God answered my prayer. We found the school in Jackson, Mississippi. Gave them an offer. They accepted. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. We gave uh, Johannesburg, South Africa, an uh, offer. We found a beautiful church there. In fact, I think it's a Methodist church seating in uh, about six to seven hundred people. I'm waiting to hear from them. Amen. I came in mighty low, you know. Oh, yes. Amen. So uh, I'm waiting to hear from them. We got an offer. We get ready to put in on a church we found in St. Louis, Missouri. And another one in the south side of Chicago. Wonderful. And we about to hunt one down in Cleveland and Cincinnati. Wonderful. Amen. So uh, this is the Lord's doing. I want to greet all of my viewers. I want to greet all of my viewers there. And, uh, come on, do what you got to do so I can keep taking care of my business. All right, you changed the batteries. Well, my battery is gone in this one. I want to get all of my viewers in the Bahama Islands. Uh -huh. We start the new telecast. We on every Sunday morning in the Bahama Islands from 7 to 8 a.m. Bishop you? Ferguson texted me this morning. He said I was watching it this morning. He said it was dropping. It was dropping hard. So that's a wonderful thing. So I want to greet all my viewers. This message is covering all 700 of the Bahama Islands. Wonderful. There's 700 islands, you know. Wonderful. And we got every last one of them covered. So then, what you going to do about it? Nothing but obey it. That's it. You must obey this. 
Who? Everybody. 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 This is the message for the last days. That's right. What is it? Be holy. Be holy. God wants you to be holy. That's it. Being holy is divine instructions. How to take on God's character. Learn God's will. Learn God's agenda. Learn God's purpose and God's standard and God's precepts. That's it. That's what holiness consists of. And viewers, if you're wise and you claim you are, <laughs> many of you claim you are, you should want to be what God is. That's it. And if you don't want to be what God is, you're going to cuss the day you was born and you're going to have a desire to be what God is. That's right. Now, I want to say to all of you that's in Charlotte, North Carolina, Charleston, South Carolina, Phoenix, Arizona, uh, Lafayette, Louisiana. Uh, we only got two more months left in this year. But you get prepared. We will be hitting those areas if there's no change. Before this year, go out. So uh, you make plans now. You Whatever fragments you got left in your church, I'm giving you time now. <laughs> you go get your choir robe or you can leave it there. Get your hymn book or let it stay there. Grab your drumsticks. Don't leave your bass guitar. Grab your saxophone. Oh, yeah. That's right. Amen. If you play the harmonica in your church, get your harmonica and your scrub board out of there. Yeah. Glory to God and get ready to walk with the way of holiness. You know, when I was in Milwaukee last week, there was a bishop that was sending wolf tickets before we got there. Yes. Amen. And said he's going to debate us and prove that there are no apostles now that divorce and remarriage is right. But one of his elders talked him out of it. Talked him out of it. Amen. Amen. And he was wise to listen to his elder. <laughs> but uh, his grandson came. Mm -hmm. And his grandson is walking with the truth of God. Amen. Amen. I advise everybody and anybody, anybody, this is the message, if you're wise, you shouldn't fight. No. It's in you to fight because the devil is in you. You know, your father. Your father, the devil. Bible says you have your father, the devil, and the lust of your father you will do. Yeah. Fighting this message is just as easy as stopping the tsunami with your pinky. That's right. Tsunami will make you disappear. That's right. All right, let's get an update here. We got a two-week report to catch up on. Uh -huh. On those that were baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. And, uh, you know, we was in uh, Alabama. I mentioned how Minister Shabazz was telling me about a false prophet who lied on God and said that the Lord told him that I supposed to be in the limousine or either in a white Cadillac. And I'm driving. I'm supposed to be driving about uh, seven or eight homosexuals. Well, I also received word they put a lie. They got lies out on you too, Williams. What? Yeah. In fact, <laughs> yes. What? The Lord told him that you're supposed to be a member down there in Mobile, Alabama. What? You're supposed to be in the Alabama False Church. What are you doing here? Oh my God, Pastor. Hey, man, they discussed. They they talking about it on social media and said, "Did Williams leave?" What? Williams is gone. You better put the camera on Williams so folks can see that he's still here. <laughs> that, not, not only that, the false prophet said, the Lord said so. My Lord. The Lord. Listen. My Lord. Uh, you know one thing I learned about jealousy and hatred mm. is a bad cocktail. Yeah. Jealousy and hatred will motivate you to be a liar. That's right. Because things are not going the way you want it to go. That's right. I mean, years ago, the same false prophet put a lie out on Dan Demand Stasiak. Mm. Said the Lord told him that Dan Demand Stasiak is going to be under him. My Lord. Same false prophet put a lie out on Deacon Jennings, my own mm. blood brother, and said Deacon is going to be under him. My Lord. I'm so glad that God opened up my understanding. That's right. All right, I want to ruffle the devil feathers now and update you. Mm -hmm. Baptisms, we have 31 in headquarters, three in New Brunswick, New Jersey. One came out the water speaking in tongues. 
Eight in Bronx, New York. Two in Delmar, Delaware. One in Port Smith, Virginia. One Newport News, Virginia. Four in Augusta, Georgia. Six in Atlanta. Four in Rocky Mount. Seven in Columbia. One in Charleston. Two in North Chicago. Three in Detroit. Seventeen in Tennessee. Eleven in Miami. One in Minnesota. Twenty-six in Milwaukee, like I mentioned. Two in Jackson, Mississippi. Forty-seven, as I mentioned in uh, Mobile Dedication. Plus six more made fifty-three. They are Mobile, Alabama, five in Sacramento, one in Houston, one in um, Gilmer, Texas, two in, I believe, Friendswood, Texas, 23 in Denver, Colorado, uh, six in Abbeville, Louisiana, uh, international, we got six in Toronto, Canada, one in the Netherlands, four in Germany, three in London, 10 in Durban, and Durban, Durban, South Africa, nine in Johannesburg, South Africa, and I believe it was about two that received the Holy Ghost there, eight in Cape Town, South Africa, 256 souls in the name of Jesus Christ. All right, let me uh, give this announcement, and I want to say to all of you that's in the El Paso, Texas area, please go to our church website. You can see this announcement again. Uh, there will be a meeting in San Antonio next week. Uh, oh, all right, all right, here we go. All right. <laughs> Service and baptisms will take place in Fargo, North Dakota. Dakota, that's another area that we have to get into next year, in the spring or the summer, yeah. you know, because Fargo is cold. Oh, yeah. Very cold. Uh, there'll be service in Fargo, North Dakota, Homewood Suites by Hilton, 2021, 2021 16th Street, and uh, Fargo, North Dakota, that's Friday, October 15th at 7 p.m., I want to all of my viewers in the Fargo, North Dakota, pay attention now. Service is coming in your area at Homewood Suites by Hilton, 2021 16th Street uh, in Fargo, North Dakota on Friday, October 15th. If you want information, you can call 313-364-9385. Also, go to our website so you can jot this down and print it out and give it to your friends so they can escape the judgment of God that's coming upon creation. Now, let me say to everybody around the world, as I said before, prepare yourself for the closing year convocation. That'll be uh, December 30th through January 2nd. Services uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. God be our helper. To all our ministers, remember, we will have a meeting on Saturday and Sunday at 10 o'clock in our minister's room of council. It is very necessary that all the ministers in America, all of them, be here. I understand if the foreign countries, some of them can't make it because of the restrictions. But here in America, I want every minister in America here. Amen. Because we have very important business to discuss and very important appointments to be made. Next year, God willing, there are many foreign countries have opened back up. So God willing to all the first churches of the Lord Jesus Christ, in England, we do hope to start back at our European convention. We want to pick it back up in North London. Minister Winston, if you watch it, I need you to contact me and let me know what is the status there and can we gather. And if we can, God willing, we'll be having a European tour starting off in London. After our London Holy Convocation, we will go to the Netherlands. After the Netherlands, we will go to Germany. After Germany, amen, we're starting a new work in December. Let me see if I can pronounce it right. And Beloga, I believe it's called Beloga, Italy. We're starting a new work in Italy. Not that far from Rome. Amen. We'll be sending Taj, the evangelist, my forerunner. Amen. We'll be sending him there to get things started for us in December. Also, they're asking for us to please come to Greece. Wonderful. Amen. 
So uh, we have a European tour that will probably have me out the country for maybe about a month because I won't be flying, coming back, flying, coming back. That wouldn't make no sense. No, I will hit an area and then get some rest, fly to the next area, get some rest, and then start going to work with the Bible, get some rest a few days, hop the plane, go to the next place, get some rest a couple of days, a few days, go to the next place. But let us remember these countries are not letting you in without your shot. Right. Amen. They're not letting you in without your shot. Amen. And so I got my shot and I got my card and God be my helper. We're looking to get there. Yeah. Australia. I want my secretary, Sister Lorraine. I, please, I want you to go back again. Try to get my visa. Australia is opening up now. Mm -hmm. Try to get my visa so I can get into Australia. Amen. And get into Switzerland also. Also, we have a South Pacific tour coming up near Japan. We will, God willing, will be going to the Fiji Islands, the Crook Islands, the Samoan Islands. We'll be going near Vietnam and also the Philippines as well. Oh. Amen. Why? God has opened up the world. Glory to, hallelujah. Glory to God for the truth of God. Hallelujah. Canada, I believe, have opened back up. So God willing, we're looking to get in Canada also. To all my viewers in Alaska, look out. God be our helper. We're looking to get there in Alaska in the summer or spring of 2022. God be our helper. You that are in uh, Mexico, God willing, we hope to be going there in Mexico as well. So as you can see, brothers and sisters, there's nothing in nobody, and I mean nobody, big, nobody. small, I don't care who you are, how large your church is, where you're having church at, if you got church in your bathroom and the toilet is your pastor's chair. Amen. There's nobody under the sun. Nobody. That have what it takes to stop this, that includes the devil. That's right. I said that includes that include the devil. the devil. The only one that can stop this is the one that started it. That's right. And that's God himself. That, that's God. And uh, it is not God will that this be stopped, but that the increase of his government and peace. No end. Blessed be God that it be no end. No end to it. Amen. So I thank God for just keep blessing the church. As you can, if you've been up in the main auditorium, the railings that's up on the balcony we hope that everything we're able to finish out the main auditorium in 2022 so we can dedicate that main auditorium so the world can hear let the church say amen <laughs> that's right. <laughs> yeah that's right amen that's right amen so we're, we're we're grateful we have a lot of work i mean a lot of work have to be done oh yeah i pray god that the areas of Africa is back open because we have to hold our first holy convocation in the country of Malawi. Yeah. And then from Malawi, we go to Burundi. Amen. And from Burundi, we go to Mozambique to hold the first first churches of the Lord Jesus Christ convocation in uh, Mozambique as well. Amen. I do pray that the Caribbean, all the Caribbean open back up. So we can get into Jamaica and the Bahamas and Trinidad and the Virgin Islands and Barbados and every place. Because they're calling for us all over. Amen. Amen. They're calling for Hallelujah. Glory to God. God is fulfilling what he showed me, viewers. Yes, he is. Over. And now, now I am one preacher. I'm not making this up. I'm really not. Over 43 years ago, your Lord. That's right. Spoke to me. That's right. Amen. I say your Lord spoke to me, the God of Abraham. Yes. Isaac and Jacob, the God that appeared to Moses on the mountain. That's right. The God that translated Enoch. That's right. And took Elijah away in the whirlwind. That's right. God that stopped Paul on the road to Damascus. Uh, hallelujah. Spoke to him. Hallelujah. In the Hebrew tongue. God that made Adam. 
in his image. That's right. Who will take God and after his likeness. That's right. The God that Job saw riding yeah. on the wings yeah. of the wind. Amen. 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 He spoke to me. That's right. Over 43 years ago and showed me all of this work. That's right. That we are doing. That's right. This is what makes me debunk all of you false prophets that say the Lord told you something yeah. that contradict okay. the vision. Yes. I'm able to say with the authority that God gave me. That's right. It's a lie. It's a lie. Because God spoke to me years ago. That's right. Before any of you rug rats came on the scene. That's right. That's right. Any so-called prophecy that come out of hell. Amen. That contradict what the Lord have already said. That's right. I don't even turn my back. No. And if someone get up now and say, the Lord says you're going to die this year. I this won't year. even turn my back. That's right. Mm -mm, no, 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 but no, because what God called me to do is take years to get it done. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Take years to get it done. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. Oh, Glory to God. So I'm not moved by these fakers. No. Who is he that saith? Listen at this. In the book of Lamentations, chapter 3 and verse You know, it's a beautiful thing when God talked to you. And you know him. That's it. I'm able to say like Paul that I may know him. That's right. How? Glory to God in the power of his resurrection. That's right. We're not out here on our own. Oh, no. Mm -mm, not at all. No. Uh, there's something. There's other easier things to do than this. Oh, yeah. God spoke to us. I think of before I start pastoring. I told Williams about it. That's right. Told my wife about it. We wasn't married. Told Mike Revenel about it. Yes. Knew him since I was about 11 or 12. Mm -hmm. hey Amen. About this thing. I'm only in my teens. Amen. And here I'm now 58. Amen. Hey Amen. And them that I've told have watched this thing take place. That's right. That's why every city that we go in and cities we haven't been to yet, it already belonged to us. That's right. Huh? That's right. I, 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 know, I know many of you don't like this, but I'm telling you, your city belongs to the truth of God. That's right. Eh? It belongs to us. That's right. Souls are already in reserve. Glory to God. Glory to God. That's right. Eh? Hallelujah. Yeah. Boston, Boston, Massachusetts, God willing, we're looking to hit you next year, and Springfield, Massachusetts. We got a good sauce following in both cities. Wonderful. Amen. Uh, I want to say the Green Bay, Wisconsin. We got a local telecast there. God willing, we're looking to get in your area Amen. in the spring or the summer. Amen. It's cold there. It's cold there. Yeah. Uh, Amen. Denver, Colorado. We're looking to get there also. I'll be glad when uh, New York get back functioning again. Yeah. When that old wicked city open back up. So... Uh, I'm sent to do what we're doing. And I know many of you don't like me just keep thundering this testimony. Yeah, they don't like it. But with many other words, I must testify oh, yeah. and it saying, save yourself. Save yourself. From this untoward generation. That's right. Amen. It, it gives us great joy uh, when, we, when we're able to look back where God brought us from. Oh, yeah. Many of us that, that are here that was in the basement. Oh, yes. Amen. And God blessed some to come before we got out of there. That's right. I remember when Dan came and invited me to his house. All his children was little then. And in fact, I, I remember when my daughter, in fact, my oldest daughter was the only one that we had. Yeah. And she was a little baby still walking around pulling up on things. Yeah. And, uh, and I remember he began to ask me, tell me about this work that God showed you. And I begin to tell Dan the man, Sazeac, and that was over, over 30 years ago. Amen. Told him over 30 years ago about this. Amen. Sitting in his home, telling him, I got it, not one word fell one to the word. ground. That's right. You see, it feels when God says something. That's it. God backs 
sit. That's right. You don't have to talk, hallelujah, out of emotion, out of anger, out of hatred, out of jealousy. No. So shall my word talk be. By the inspiration. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Why do you think the word of God is so perfect, so clean, so undefiled? Because nobody spoke on their own feeling. That's right. Knowing this, first and no prophecy came in olden time by the will of man, but the holy men of God spake, and they was moved by the Holy Ghost. They didn't give their opinion, they didn't give their ideology, they didn't give their philosophy. That's right. No one fell into an emotional slump. No. And felt like saying something. Oh, no. God propped the prophets. That's Hallelujah. right. Hallelujah. God prop the apostles. That's right. Thanks be unto God and made them thunder to creation. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Speak out God's will. That's it. Amen. And when you speak out God's will, not one word will fall to the ground. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my head. In Isaiah 55 and at verse 11. Listen at this. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I, I, I'm glad I serve a God oh, whose yeah. word I can rely on. That's right. Amen. Thank God I can talk to him and tell him you Go told ahead. me so. That's right. Hallelujah. That's right. I can tell the Almighty. Go ahead, brother. You told me so. That's right. That's right. And hallelujah. 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 Take God. Hallelujah. I can tell him you told me. That's right. No, I didn't have a conflict with a preacher. Didn't went out and made up something. No, 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 no. Take God. I can tell him you told me so. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's right. I heard his voice. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, Hallelujah. thank God when he spoke to me like he did the apostle Paul. Hallelujah. That's right. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I heard his voice. Go ahead, brother. Glory to God. Go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Viewers, viewers, that's the reason for the success of the truth of God. Right. Pastor Jennings is not the reason. No. It's the reason is God spoke it. God said it. That's it. God keep bringing it to pass. That's right. That's God right. said it. God said it. Listen at this. Then Isaiah 55 and at verse 11. What is it? So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. So shall my word. My word. You know, Go you got to be sure Go ahead. that is God's word. That's it. That come out of your mouth, not your feeling. That's right. That's right. Not your ideology. No, no. Not your philosophy. That's right. No, sir. Oh, no. Glory to God. So shall my word be. So shall my word. Be that goeth forth out of my mouth. That go forth out of my mouth. It shall not. It shall not. Return unto me void. But what it going to do? But it shall accomplish. I told you. It, it shall it accomplish. Got to have results. That which I please. Now, it pleases God Hallelujah. to give the truth of God victory That's right. everywhere. <laughs> That's right. Did you hear what he just read? So shall my word be that so goeth forth out of my mouth. my word mouth. be that go out of my mouth. It shall it not return, return unto me void, void, but it shall accomplish. Wait a minute. It shall do what? It shall accomplish. When we go to Mexico, what will happen? It shall accomplish. Go to Korea. It shall accomplish. Go to Philippines. It shall accomplish. Go to Vietnam. It shall accomplish. Go to Japan. It shall accomplish. Go to China. It shall accomplish. Go to Australia. It shall accomplish. Go to Ireland. It shall accomplish. Go to Scotland. It shall accomplish. Go to Canada. It shall accomplish. It doesn't matter. It shall accomplish. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. It doesn't matter where you go. That's right. God spoke it. It shall accomplish. And if God said shall accomplish, that means that Jehovah stands behind it. That's right. That's right. That's right. Are you getting what I'm telling you? It shall accomplish. You don't have to make up nothing. No. No, no. Oh, you don't have no. to make up nothing. That's right. Except the Lord build the house. That's it. Glory to God. <laughs> That's right. ah, it shall accomplish. Except the Lord build it. That's right. Oh, we take God your labor in vain. That build. That build it. Except the Lord keep the city. Yes, the watchmen. The watchmen watch. watch in vain. That's right. Do you hear? But it shall accomplish. It shall accomplish that which I please. That which he I please. please. You and see, this it pleases God. It, that's right. 
for his word to be preached. That's right. Then it makes God happy. <laughs> Amen. You see the souls come to him. That's right. Makes God feel good. Oh, yes. When the backslider come on back to him. Glory to God. That's right. Yeah. It shall accomplish. Shall accomplish. That which I Glory please. God. That which you please. And it shall prosper. And it shall prosper. In the thing whereto I send you. I told you a holy message give you holy results. And it shall prosper. He said it shall prosper. In the thing whereto I sent it. Who sent it? Which, where unto I sent it. And I God see. sent this to the world. Yes, he did. Every city, every town, every village. That's right. I mean, I mean everywhere. We sent uh, the messages dropping over there in Ireland. Yes. And in Scotland, we sent Taj the Evangelist over there, I believe, uh, a few weeks ago. Mm -hmm. And I asked him, how was the turnout? He said, Pastor Jennings, it was a beautiful mixed crowd. Amen. They Amen. came from Scotland, Ireland, Germany, London, so many parts of Europe yes. testifying how the truth of God message have brought them Wonderful. out of falsehood. Wonderful. Going down in water in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hey, so shall my word be. So shall, hallelujah, my word be. That goeth forth out of my mouth. It got to come out of God's mouth. That's it. You see, you get mad at me and think it's coming out of my mouth. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. No, I'm just a puppet of God. That's it. And when he pulled the string, he make my mouth come open. That's right. Thank God and I can feel him pulling on it. <laughs> That's right. Hallelujah. That's and right. That's right. I said I can feel God pull. Hallelujah. Go ahead. Holding on. Go ahead. Man. Thank God. Thundering a message Hallelujah. to wake up men and women That's right. of very race, creed, and color on the earth. That's right. What did he say? So shall my word be. So shall my word be. That goeth forth that out, of, out my of my mouth. mouth. It shall not return shall not unto return me, me boy. But it shall accomplish, shall accomplish that which I please. That which I please. And it shall prosper. And it going to prosper. In the thing whereto I sent. And this scripture right here, the truth of God and thousands is yeah. being blessed right now, right now to witness the fulfillment of it. That's right. Amen. I want to say to the first churches of our Lord Jesus Christ in Dubai, you know, we got a lot good sized group there in Dubai. Amen. Amen. Was crying out for baptism. We send Bishop Elvis Simbali over to Dubai and baptize him in the name of Jesus Christ. He went over there, baptized him. And since he'd been back, more was crying for baptism. He had to go back again. And then we had one of the brothers there. He trained how to baptize. So we got brothers there in Dubai, Wonderful. baptizing the folks in the name of Jesus Christ. Wonderful. Amen. Amen. If your message, viewers, come from God, you must have the same results. That's right. That Jesus and the apostles had. That's right. When you have that results, right. you don't have to mimic nobody. No. You don't have to pretend like you're someone that you're not. No. No, no, oh, no, no. No. Just like hallelujah. Glory to God. Just let God do it. That's right. You better give me the 24th chapter of the book of Luke, if you will. Yes. Begin at verse 44. Amen. Jesus, who is God, manifested in the flesh. Thank God he sent the prophets out ahead of the flesh that he would utilize to redeem us back to the That's holy right. state that we lost in the Garden of Eden. That's right. Adam transgressed against God and sin made an impact into the world. God sent prophets, blessed be God, amen, that had the testimony of, of Jesus. Jesus. And having the testimony of Jesus, he sent them out yeah. ahead of his flesh, That's right. ahead of the mediator, That's right. to uh, make an announcement. Yes. <laughs> eh? That's right. Amen. The prophecy was the announcement of the arrival of the Son of God. That's right. Thanks be unto God. And then when Jesus got here, yeah. which was God manifested in the flesh, what did God manifest? He manifested. Names. Name. He manifests his power. He manifests his authority. He manifests his teaching. He manifests his preaching. He manifests his divine skill. He manifests his healing. He manifests right. his power within flesh, That's within right. the body, which is the Son of God. God stood in that body yeah. until Paul said, To which God was in Christ Jesus, reconciling the world or pulling the world back into himself. That's right. After that, he went to the cross and died, Go ahead. went to the lower parts of the earth, Go ahead. and the third day, Go ahead. He came on back and he said what? These are the words. Hallelujah. Take God. These are the words. When he come back, what did he say? These are the words. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. After death, 
the message still didn't change. That's right. He said, these are the words. Which I speak unto and you. And I speak unto you. While I was yet with you. You see that? Amen. Even in the glorified body. That's right. The message didn't change. That's right. Huh? These are the words. These are the words. Which I speak unto you. And I speak unto you. While, while I was yet with you. I was yet with you in the flesh, with flesh and blood, like you among you. Yeah. That all things must be fulfilled. How much? All things yeah. must be fulfilled. Everything. Everything. All Everything. Things. That's right. Everything that the prophets prophesied about must be fulfilled. And that Jesus told them That's right. must, must be fulfilled. Over to God must be fulfilled. Which were written in the wait, law wait, wait, of Moses. Wait, wait, wait. What did Jesus rely on? Which were written. What did Jesus rely on? Which were written. <laughs> Hallelujah. What did Jesus preaching come from? Which were written. Go and take God. Hallelujah. 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 You have to go to what's written. Which were written. Amen. If your message don't line up 100% Hallelujah. and rightly divide it. That's right. With what's written? That's right. It ain't no good. You see, God proved to me That's wonderful. years ago. You don't have to change and pick up false teaching to try to get souls. That's right. No, no. That's right. <clears throat> we held strictly. That's right. To that old, holy, sanctified teaching. That's right. Huh? That's right. Hey, Amen. Didn't try to change it. Didn't try to modify it. No, you didn't. Didn't try to become a Trinitarian. No, you because didn't. Because Trinitarian have thousands going to hell. That's right. We didn't have to try to become a Trinitarian or a two God believer like Jehovah Witness. That's right. We had to do that. No. Hey, Amen. We stuck. To the original thing. That's right. Oh, it be to God. That thing that he gave his apostles, we yeah. stuck to that. Stuck to that. I was not looking at bishop this, elder that. No, sir. Oh, no. Hey, man, we went back further than all the bishops. That's right. And went right to Jesus. That's right. Hey! And all things must be all fulfilled. All things must be fulfilled. Must be fulfilled. Which were written. It got to be written. In the law of Moses. Wait a minute. They wrote about Jesus. Which were written in the law of in Moses. In the law of Moses. And in the prophets. And the prophets. And in the Psalms. Concerning who? Concerning me. That's it. That's it. It was written. Which were written in the law of Moses. Jesus was the testator. That's right. Of the testament. That's right. But in order for the Old Testament to have force, right. the testator... Had to die. For where a testament is. Do you hear this? In the book of Hebrews chapter 9 and verse 16. From testament you got to have a testimony. That's right. A testimony creates a testament. That's right. A testament is a written document of testimony. That's right. That's why you got Old Testament and New Testament. That's and right. the testimonies of the prophets is the testimony of Jesus. That's right. Huh? In Hebrews 9 and verse 16. What is it? For where a testament is. Where, here, here. Where a testament is. There must also of necessity. There is a necessity there's a need. Be the death of the testator. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Where a testament is. Or where a testament is. There must need be. There must also of necessity. And necessity. Be the death. The death of the testator. For a testament is a for force. For a testament is a force. After men are dead. The testament got force. After, after men what? After men are dead. Or oh, thank God that the Old Testament didn't have no force. That's right. Until after men are dead, Jesus died. That's right. That's right. While he was walking the earth, he was fulfilling his role. Amen. Give me the 35th chapter of the book of Isaiah. Isaiah. Put it now. Oh, yes. Begin at verse 1. Amen. And in the wilderness, in a solitary place, shall be glad, glad for, for thee. That's right. And the, the desert, desert shall rejoice and blossom as a rose. It shall blossom it shall abundantly. It shall blossom abundantly. And rejoice even and with joy and singing. With joy and singing. The glory of Lebanon, the glory of shall, Lebanon be shall, shall be given unto The excellency of the Carmel and Sharon. They shall see the glory of the Lord. They shall see the glory of the Lord. And the excellency of our God. God. God Strengthen you the weak and confirm. Say to them that are of a fearful heart. Fear not. Be strong. Be strong. Fear not. Yo, God. Your God will come with vengeance. Oh, hallelujah. 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 Your God. Your God will come with vengeance. Hallelujah. Go and take God. Your God will come with vengeance. Even God with a recompense. Even God with a recompense. He will come and save you. Now, they say your God will come. Your God will come. Then they say God will save you. That's right. Now, let's see what's in Jesus. That's right. Titus. Now, read on, son. Right where you are. Read on. Then the eyes of the blind shall be opened. Jesus did what? Then the eyes of the blind shall be opened. Tell me that Jesus opened the eyes of the blind. What else? And the ears of the deaf shall Tell be unstuck. Tell me that Jesus opened the deaf ears. What else? Then shall the lame man leap Tell as his heart. Jesus pray for the lame and they start leaping what else? And the tongue of the dumb Tell me that Jesus healed the dumb and they start singing. For in the wilderness, in the wilderness, the waters break out. Hold it right there. Hallelujah. You see, you got a wilderness like land. 
right. You got wilderness that's land. That's right. But then you got wilderness that's a people. That's right. And the Bible says in the wilderness shall waters break out. The Holy Ghost is coming. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Glory to God. In the wilderness. You see what I'm talking? Amen. Amen. Jesus told the woman at the well, yeah. bless God, give me drink. And she thought he was talking about natural water. That's right. But he was talking about the spirit. That's right. Amen. You notice there's rivers of living water. Yeah. And when there's a wilderness, you're yes. in a drought. But when the waters break out, That's the right. Holy Ghost will spring up in you. That's right. In that everlasting life. That's right. Hallelujah. For in the wilderness. In the wilderness. Shall the waters break out. Yes. Hallelujah. Water. Shall break out. Oh, it's like God shall break out. And streams in the desert. Streams. In the desert. Come in the desert. And the parched ground Do shall become a pool. you see what I'm talking about? So here he come in the wilderness. That's right. And that's what we are. Yes. A wilderness people. That's right. And he come giving us moisture. Go ahead. Making us wet. That's right. With the Holy Ghost. That's right. Glory to God. And the parts right. Yeah. Glory to God. The Bible says that river. That's right. River of living water. Thank God as living water. Living water. And this speaking of the, of spirit. the spirit. That's right. You know when I was turning for the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. I was dry. Go ahead, brother. Needed some drink. Go ahead. Go it to God. Go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. I was dry. Yeah. You start seeking the Holy Ghost. Go ahead, brother. You're dry. Oh, yes. You need a drink. That's right. You gotta go to the fountain. That's right. Go it to God. Hallelujah. Go to the fountain. Go ahead. Heavens open up. Hallelujah. 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 You got to that. Blessed be God. Go ahead, man. Yeah. Hallelujah. Come, God. Go ahead. Filling you with the Holy Ghost. Go ahead. The Bible said when the day Go ahead. of Pentecost was fully come. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Came in the fullness. There were always one of God. There was always one of God. Go God. There was always one of God. There was one of God. My, my, my. There was always one of God. One of God. was one of God. In one place. In one place. It's Saturday. 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 Hallelujah! God came from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind. And it filled all the house. And it filled all the house. Went over the city. And God was there city. And they're paying us. Paying us. They're 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 paying us. they are paying us 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 they are
Open up the understanding. Then open he them understanding of the apostles. That they might understand the scriptures. Might understand the scriptures. And said unto them. And said to them. These are the. This is the right time. Thus it is written. And thus it behooves thus Christ behoove to suffer. Thus Christ to suffer. And to rise from the dead the third day. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah. Rise the third day. And that repentance. And that repentance. And remission of sins. <laughs> Hallelujah. It's all right. It's all right. It is all right. Amen. Hallelujah. And that repentance. And repentance. And remission of sins. And remission of sins. Should be preached in his should name. Should be preached in the name of Jesus Christ. Among all nations. Among where? Among all nations. Beginning where? At Jerusalem. Let's go to Jerusalem. Now. In Acts chapter 2 and at verse Let's 38. Let's go to Jerusalem. That's right. We're going to have verse 36. Acts chapter 2 and at verse 36. What did the Holy Ghost say? Amen. Come on, son. Amen. Huh? Amen. Acts, Acts 2, chapter 36. 2 and at verse 36. Come on. Therefore... Therefore, the of Israel know it surely. All right, human family. Hallelujah. This is what you got to have. That's it. Huh? Therefore, this is that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is that old Pentecost message. <laughs> That's right. That's what it is. That's right. This old modern rubbish that come out of hell. Yeah. The reason why the devil's upset with this. Oh yeah. Because the truth of God. Hallelujah. Have the results. That's right. That God promised. That's right. God promised it, promised it, and we thank him for it. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank him for it. Amen. Hallelujah. Therefore, let all the house of Israel know assuredly. Let all the house. Amen. Of Israel know assuredly. That God hath made that same That Jesus. God hath made that same Whom Jesus. you have crucified, both Lord and Christ. Both Lord and Christ. Now, when they heard this. When they heard this. They were pricked in their heart. All right, viewers. Hallelujah. It's time for you to be pricked. That's right. Your end is coming. That's right. Are you getting what I'm telling you? Amen. What did he say? Now, when they heard this, they were pricked they in their heart. They were pricked in their and heart. And said unto Hallelujah. Peter and to the rest of the apostles. Said to Peter and to the rest of the apostles. Men and brethren. What shall we do? Then Peter said what? Repent. Amen. We don't have nothing else to offer nobody. No. But the same thing. Same thing. That those that walk with them. That's right. Talk with them. Ain't with them. That's right. Handle them. That's right. Witnesses death. Amen. Witnesses resurrection. Yes. They were our witnesses. Yes. Of his majesty. That's right. Hey! Then Peter said unto then them. Peter said unto them, repent. Peter not here now. Nope. No, he's not. But the letter is still here. That's right. Viewers, you got this to do. That's right. Hey! Then Peter said unto them, repent. Hey, glory to God. Amen. You take that bowing head and raising hands and Accepting Christ as your Savior. That's right. Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, rotten That's baptism. That's right. You got to give the name. That's it. Amen. We traveled in the world. Amen. With the name in our sling. That's right. Like David came up against the giant. That's right. He said, I come. Yes. In the name of the Lord. In the name of the Lord. Everywhere we go, we're That's packing right. one stone. Oh, yes. Huh? Oh, yes. With one stone. That's right. Knocking down countries and villages and that's states true. that's right and cities and kingdoms and government officials that's right huh? that's right hey man i got a text from one of the ministers i forgot what location he said a state trooper came in mm. ran up on the church hey man they thought something was wrong he jumped out of his car and came into church and said i heard gino jennings i want to be baptized wonderful in the name of jesus Christ. wonderful huh? amen can't get away from it no no over to god amen you're going to realize, viewers, yes. that God sent us to you. That's right. God did it. God did it. Hallelujah. Glory to God. That's right. God did it. That's right. Amen. God sent me to you. God did it. In these last days. Oh, yes. And he put his word in my mouth. That's right. Thank God, not this old fake healing trash and none of that stuff. No, we no. come along to heal your soul from your sins. That's it. Teach you how to get right with God. That's right. And put the braces of the scriptures on oh, your yeah. broken feet. Go ahead, bro. That's broke because you're out there dancing and partying. We put the braces of scripture. That's right. To tame your feet. That's right. Because a good man steps his order by the Lord. That's right. Yeah? That's it. <clears throat> Listen at this now. Then Peter said unto them, repent. Repent. And be baptized, every one of you. Hallelujah. 
Come on, son. Every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for, what? for the remission of sin. And he said what? And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Why? For the promise is unto you. <laughs> Amen. The promise is unto you and to who else? And to your children. And to what? And to all that are far off. Even as many of the Lord our God shall call. And with many other words, did he testify test and exalt, saying, Save yourself. From what? From this untoward yeah. generation. That's what I'm trying to encourage you to do, viewer. Amen. Save yourself. Save yourself. Come out of your churches. Come out of your churches. Come, Come out. Come out. Mm. Don't tell me who your pastor is. Don't even give me his name because I don't care. <laughs> That's right. Just leave him. That's right. If your husband said, the Lord called and sent me, don't join his church. No. I mean, if his church starts in the bedroom, you go sleep in the den. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. That's right. I mean, anything to stay out of hell. Don't get too close to him. Amen. Amen. And that's where a lot of folk get messed up. They try to be friends with their brother and their uncle and their granddaddy and yeah. their dad and their husband and feel this family tied to some church. This ain't no family church. No, You're supposed no. to be tied to the spirit. That's right. Not to the family. That's right. You must be obligated first to God. That's it. Not to nobody flesh and blood. Save yourself. Save yourself. From this untoward generation. From this generation that's going to hell. Then they that gladly received his word were baptized. Are you glad? Amen. Because if, you, if you're not. Amen. Keep tuned. That's right. I'm pretty sure there's many that still are watching. Amen. Yeah, that's not glad. Yeah. Like this one fella can't stand it. He called me the Antichrist. I believe his name is Willie Anderson. My Lord. Huh? Willie Nilly. <laughs> Let me tell you something, Willie Nilly. Willie Nilly. You might as well go on and repent. Amen. You can fuss and fight and cuss all you want, That's Willie right. Nilly. Willie Nilly. Amen. But Willie Nilly might as well come on and bring his dirty turkey and slop your mouth, Bishop. That's and right. Go down in water. That's right. In the name of Jesus Christ. Save yourselves. If not, Willie Nilly Anderson's going to drop in hell. <laughs> That's right. Help! Save yourselves. Do what? Save yourselves from this untoward generation. I want to thank God for all of you out there that can't stand this. I thank God for you. Amen. Because you hating it fulfills the scripture. That's right. Woe unto him whom the world speak, speak well, well of. of. That's so right. you got your role to play. That's right. And you got your world, your role to play. You got to, you got to say obscene things and talk evil about it because God don't want everybody, everybody. speaking well of the truth. That's right. He's not going to put in there, woe unto him whom the world speak, speak well, well of, if then let everybody say nice stuff. So he got to let some devils free. Woe unto you when all men shall speak well of you. Do you hear that? In the book of St. Uh, Luke chapter 6 and verse 26. That let me know I'm doing all right. That's right. Yeah. I had a man write me and laid me out about preaching one God. And I, and listen, let me respond. Give me the book of James. Mm -hmm. Now, if I believe it's one God, I'm doing well. Yeah. Huh? That's right. You that fight me about the one God, listen to what I said. If I believe there's one God, I'm doing well. In St. James chapter 2 and verse 19. You tell me you're doing well if you believe in three or two. And then give me a scripture that says it. That's right. I got Bible for what I'm saying. St. James chapter 2 and verse 19. That's what? Thou believest that there is one God, thou doest well. I'm all right then. The devils also believe and tremble. That mean that, that with that belief? With that belief. That's a right belief. Oh, that's yeah. right. Oh, yeah. So that's I right. believe there's one God. I'm all right. I'll do as well. I'm cool with it. Oh, yes. I'm fine. That's right. Nice. That's right. Huh? That's right. Anybody here want to be baptized the right way? Come out of your false churches and escape hell and want to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Stand on your feet if you want it. Yeah. If you want to be baptized, stand on your feet. Yes. Glory to God. Isn't that wonderful? Hallelujah. You that want to be baptized, come on around to the front. Hallelujah. Come on around to the front. Just follow them. Hallelujah. Everybody might as well come out of your church. That's right. Everybody. 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 No need to stay there. No. No. The world might as well say amen to this. That's right. Amen. That's right. Let the church say. Let the church say. Let the church say. Everybody say, everybody say, everybody say, let the whole church say, yes sir, let the church say, let everybody say, yeah. 
Let your pastor say, let your false prophet say, let your second wife say, yeah, everybody say, all right. Let us all say amen. 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 Let us pray. Heavenly Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, we do thank you again, Lord God, for your loving kindnesses and your tender mercy that you've shown towards us, O God. We thank you, Lord Jesus, that thou art the one and only true living God that's made heaven and earth and everything in it, Lord Jesus. We pray, O God, you're blessed, O God, the message this day. As it goes forth, O God, let it, my God, accomplish that to which you send it. Open up the understanding, I pray, O oh God, of all the listeners and the viewers across the world, that they may understand what they need to do in these last and closing days of time, O oh God, that their souls may be saved. Bless our pastor, I pray, O oh God, continually, and all the saints of God everywhere, I pray. These things we ask in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. <laughs>